Hey YouTube, Anna here. <clears throat> Sorry. So I'm here to update you on my first beta draw numbers and then go over my two week wait symptoms. I am currently cycle day, I'm sorry, 13 DPO or DPIUI. So yeah, I think this is a good time to do my two week wait symptoms and all that stuff. So I got my first betas drawn on 12 DPO, so yesterday, and I got my um, results that evening. So my HCG was 37, and two cycles ago, my HCG was about 25 at this point. My progesterone right now was 25.5, and they say anything over 15 is good. It means your lining is thick. <clears throat> and then they checked my TSH, which is my thyroid, and they want that number to be specifically under 2.5. Mine was 2.91, so I'm going to have to be put on levothyroxine again, which is like a Synthroid, synthetic thyroid medication. Um, I took it with Cecilia, so I feel like that's actually good that my TSH was a little bit high because it was high with Cecilia too. I think Cecilia's was like 2.69, but 2.91, it's high. <sighs> so the only thing that I really don't like about my numbers is that the Synthroid that I have to take because of my TSH being 2.91, um, it made me lose my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like after I, <clears throat> like, I had luscious hair when I gave birth to Cece, and then, like, three weeks later, my hair was, like, falling out in huge chunks, and I still feel, like, very patchy. Um, so I'm not looking forward to being a bald lady this spring. <laughs> um, it's temporary, like, my hair will grow back. But that's just a little vanity in me that says otherwise. Um, before I get into my two-week wait symptoms, I wanted to show you guys my sure predict tests. So I took the top one this morning. Focus. Focus. <laughs> I took the top one this morning and I took the bottom one like just recently and the bottom one is so much more positive than my first morning urine. So I feel like SurePredict is not actually giving me an accurate line progression which kind of bums me out. <sighs> and it always makes me worry. Like first thing in the morning, I look at the like faded line and I'm like, oh, and then I'll check my second test because I'm crazy and I always test with multiples <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that line's getting darker. That's better. <clears throat> and this was like second or third morning urine was my most recent one. So it's just weird. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's go on with... Cycle number seven, two-week wait symptoms. <clears throat> so I got my IUI on cycle day 16, which happened to be the 31st of December. At about three or four days past the ovulation, or days past my IUI, I had like dull cramps and then not much else was going on. 5-DPO, I had two really sharp cramps on my right side, and I thought that was a bit strange. I also had like one tiny wave of nausea, and then like my right boob was tender. So it kind of seemed like pre pms -y type deal, except for the two sharp right side cramps. Those ones I was like, oh, that's distinctly different. Um, six days past IUI, I started to break out and I have continued to break out. Um, 
I'm trying to like let my skin rest and so I will go days without makeup and then I'll put makeup on and I'm like, oh, it's just, it's bad. So more breakouts on six days past IUI. Seven days, nothing happened. There, were, there was nothing to report. Eight days, I had a severe bout of nausea. I didn't throw up, so that was good. I had, um, so I'm at eight days past IUI. I had cramping, I was super bloated. I got on my belly to play with my daughter and I was like, oh, why is this so uncomfortable? Like, it's just weird. I just felt so bloated and uncomfortable. My nine days past IUI, I could have sworn that I saw a line on the sure predict. So I was like, BFP maybe? <laughs> I was again bloated, um, cramping all day like a, my period was coming. So this one was totally abnormal for me. I get this like severe cramping and then within five hours I'll get my period. So all day cramps like this, no relief, no like waves of cramping. It was just like all day uncomfortable cramping. Um, I had a bit of discharge, like EWCM, and after four hours of holding my urine, I got a very, very light pink line on the sure predict. I didn't trust it <laughs> because I don't know how much I trust sure predict in giving me like accurate measure of HCG so I just kind of felt like I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to actually call it <laughs> um, nausea all day oh except when I was eating when I was eating I was totally fine and then 20 minutes later nausea again um, more breakouts I had cramping in my lower back almost like back labor with my first miscarriage I took um, Cytotec at home to have it have my miscarriage at home and I had severe back labor for the two weekends that I was going through that so I felt like really just uncomfortable in my lower back and I had tender breaths so 9 DPO there was like a lot of stuff going on 10 DPO I had like one cramp and that was it. And then I was bloated as the day went on, but nothing like the day before. I was actually kind of worried because I thought, well, that's my body like rejecting having a baby. Um, I did have sore boobs. My belly was a little tender, like it was uncomfortable to wear pants. 11 days past IUI. Tender belly again, sore boobs. 12 days past IUI, tender belly, more breakouts. Oh, it's bad. Sore boobs, nausea, oh, severe tiredness. I used to be able to nap, like from college on until I had a baby. I was able to nap whenever like mid-afternoon I'd take an hour nap I would be great like I would feel super good like weekends I would always nap <clears throat> so and, and then since I've had Cecilia I cannot nap unless I'm sick and when I'm sick and I nap I like crash so hard so yesterday I was just lazy mom day I <laughs> just laid on the couch while Tangled was playing and I fell asleep during Tangled. Um, Cece would come up to me every once in a while and I'd get her water and stuff, but like I actually legit dozed off. So, <laughs> so I'm like extremely tired. Um, and then I had my beta draw done yesterday. So today is 13 days past IUI and I feel nauseous. Um, I feel like I don't want to wear pants, <laughs> like I'm bloated and I just, it's not appealing to me to put on pants 
at all. So I'm in leggings right now. <clears throat> and we have to go run errands and I'll probably put on pants. But I really don't want to. Anyway, tomorrow I found a lab that's open on Saturdays that will do my blood draw. So I'm gonna go in first thing Saturday morning, get my second beta, and the nurse actually told me to call their office on Sunday morning because she will be working um, between eight and nine, and I will get my number Sunday. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited. <laughs> And I will let you guys know what those numbers are and how things are going later. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.